one of the reasons why I read the FT is primarily because it's very relevant to my job. So I need to kind of be aware of what's going on in the stock market, what's going on in the world around me. So I often, when I read the FT, I start with the back pages, try and understand the companies and markets, what's happened yesterday, what's moving share prices, and what, which ones are going up, which, which ones are going up, and which ones are going down. It's unbiased, uh, tremendous uh, depth of uh, research, um, covers uh, the world. Um, and it's eclectic, covers uh, different topics from fashion uh, to finance uh, to sports, uh, um, cars. So it's a terrific newspaper. I've been a subscriber to the FT for about five years and I became a subscriber because I found it was the most frequently quoted resource uh, in regard to financial regulatory reform. So I decided it was probably an indispensable resource to subscribe to. It makes me think. It's provocative. Sometimes I agree with it. Sometimes I disagree with it. And, and do you know what? Sometimes the disagreeing with it is actually more valuable because then it forces me to think, well, why do I think what I think? Because someone just challenged me. Um, and what I love about it is that in an arena where trust isn't a, use, a word used often for journalists, I trust the journalists. I trust the FT because it delivers Im information rather than news. I've never considered to be a newspaper in, in the way that the other uh, broadsheets are. It's about integrity, it's about honesty, um, and they believe what they're telling you is the truth at that time. I think the FT is, uh, really tries to go down the middle, give you an in-depth analysis of uh, the issues. Uh, so I, when I read the FT, I think uh, that I'm reading from a source that is, uh, that has done a lot of homework and is trying to give you a very in-depth analysis. There's not been any kind of scandal involving the FT's own journalists or, um, you know, which you can think of with various other platforms, you know, um, both in business and, you know, more, more general media. It's looking at serious, more the serious element. I mean, yeah, not all business is serious. It's also there's a fine element of it, but it's a, it's a bit more you know, facts and real facts as opposed to potential made-up stuff to make you buy the paper, and I think that's the difference. It's the commitment to high-quality content and to delivering that to readers in a whole range of ways that um, make it make complex quality content easy to access. It's got a great track record in, in um, producing quality editorial. Uh, I think the price went up, the paper edition went up about four years ago doubled in price and it was just there was no question I'd keep buying it. I feel that the FT is staffed by people who care about uh, good journalism, about presenting uh, the facts fairly, uh, presenting them comprehensively and that's that's important. The fact that they are going to be quite pragmatic in their view gives you a sense that they're actually thinking about the individual problems and bringing the right lens to the right problem at the right time dependent on circumstance. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit, bit of a better thought through perspective from them. In the widest sense, I trust what I read in the FT because of its history and because of its ethos and because of the caliber of the journalists that are, and columnists that I see. Um, I look upon it as being a, a platform which you only get invited to contribute to if you really have got something to say and you're prepared to say it in a embracing manner. What I'm finding in there, it's uh, not only business news, market moving news, but also uh, news which affect me more on a personal basis in terms of, uh, I, mean, I would say, more as a citizen than really uh, as a professional. If I want to have uh, a glance at uh, what, what's happening in the world in terms of politics, of finance, uh, um, and even in the art world, and I want to do it quickly and effectively, it's a very good source for that. It's always intellectually stimulating. It speaks to me on the same level. I don't feel like I'm being patronized. Um, it's worth the money. And, and also um, the actual format, I think, is one of the best out there. I trust the FT, and that trust is built up on a heritage of over a hundred years of the best quality journalism you could possibly imagine, um, and the insights that that journalism will, will, will give you. So it's, it isn't something that just starts today. Um, this has been building up for a very, very long period of time, and it's all about the brand, I suppose. Mm -hmm.